Today I'll take you through short lighting and broad lighting. What is short lighting? What is broad lighting? We'll find out in this video. My name is Kwekwaye and this is Ghana Near Photography. Our model for today is Salmat. What's up? Okay. I'll include her Instagram handle here so you can check her out. Someone will ask, what is broad lighting? What is short lighting? In simple terms, broad lighting is when the light hits the side of your subject's face closer to the camera. And short lighting is when the light hits the side farther from the camera. Basically, that's the explanation for short lighting and broad lighting. But in this video, we'll look at practical examples. We'll be using two lights for this. One, which is the key light. Uh, our photo box, 90cm deep octa with the AD600BM in. Our kick light or rim light is the Godos SK300 Mark II in the strip box. As we move along, I'll explain my camera settings. What we are all used to is broad lighting, usually lighting the side of the face that's closest to the camera. Like in this case, we have our light right here and our model is right in front of it. And she's facing the camera. So the side of a face that's facing the camera is the broad side. So in this case, we will automatically be lighting her broad side. So let's take a picture and see what we are talking about. OK, so look straight in here. Let's see. OK, so with that, we have the greater part of her face lit. And this is what we call broad lighting. This is what most of us are used to. In broad lighting, as you can see, there is less contrast. It's used to conceal imperfection. So if your, if your model has pimples or dark spots or much imperfection on her face, you would want to use broad lighting to hide or soften some of those things. Let's demonstrate short lighting. With short lighting, as we know, we have to move the light a bit to the side and then feather it away and then also we we'll let our model face the source of light face me this way yes like that good so in doing so we are going to light this side of her face which is the side that is farther from the camera now this part becomes the broader part because this is the side that is closest to the camera I hope I'm not confusing you yet. So, Salmat, face me like this, good. And let's take a shot. Good. In that case, you realize that we've introduced some drama onto her face. So by looking at this image, you realize we've introduced some drama onto her face. Now, let's move to the advantages of short lighting. It creates contrast. It creates more shadows, which I call drama. It, cre it creates that moody effect on your subject's face. And then it's, uh, it makes your subject have a slimmer face. If you're photographing people with um, extra skin, you would want to use short lighting to sculpt their face a bit to make it look uh, slimmer. But then it's perfect for slimmer models or subjects because it already makes them a bit slim. Let's take a couple more. Yes, I like that with the arm folded. And let's see. Good. Yes, so now face the light fully. Yes, like that. And let's see. Good. So our uh, two lights are doing the job. If you look at the image, you realize that there is a rim light hitting her from this side. That's this guy doing that job. And then over here, we have this light. Somebody will say, well, this light is not facing her. So how can we say it's lighting her? It, it's not facing her directly. But then we are using the soft side. So if you look at it, this side comes here. So she's here. So the, this soft pass 
this soft part is hitting her face, giving us that lovely contrast. This side is lit, and then this side is in the shadows. Now, if you realize, I placed a black V flat here because whilst I was testing, I realized because this side of the wall is white, it was bouncing light onto this side, filling that place. I didn't want that, so I placed the black V flat here to subtract the light from that side. If we want to eliminate some of the shadows on the broad side, we can place a reflector somewhere here. So in this case, I'm going to take away the V flat, the black side. So I'll use the white side of this wall as a natural reflector. Since this light is facing here, it will just fill in this side automatically. Let's take a shot and see what I'm talking about. Okay, so fade this side for me, yes, like that. Awesome. Yes, so you can already see the difference between this and that. Now we have some light hitting there, but it's not enough. I'll put the white side of the V-flat to bounce light. With our V flat here, we are sure the light bounces here and then fills in the dark side. Same thing, look somewhere here. Yes, like that, good. Lovely, now we have a less dramatic image. See the difference between this and that. On the left is without the V flat and on the right is with the V flat too bounce some light onto her. So I would prefer the one on the left which has more drama, which is moody, to this one. But hey, let me know in the comment section which one you would prefer. At this point, let me take you through the settings we are using. We are shooting at f6.3, ISO 100, and shutter speed 1 over 200. As usual, using my Nikon D750, my Nikon 85mm, and the X1 trigger to trigger my light and I'm um, tethering through capture one I'll have another video to take you guys through how to set up to shoot through capture one I hope with this short video you've been able to know the difference between short lighting and broad lighting let me know in the comment section which of these two lighting scenarios you are most you would most likely want to use in your studio I hope this has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for watching